Welcome to Unlimited Idea, your go-to destination for all things 3D printing and laser engraving. And today I want to talk about the plugins in Octoprint. Uh, most of the things uh, you can see here, uh, there are some sort of plugins that uh, they are installed as a default uh, in uh, Octoprint. And there are many uh, plugins developed by the third parties that you can add it into the plugin into the octoprint and uh, get a lot of uh, functionality uh, first let's see how uh, we can install the plugins uh, in, under this uh, range is a setting and we have a sub menu called uh, plugin manager and here under the get more you can uh, after inserting the uh, password you can see the um, available plugins uh, in the on, in octopus also if you find uh, something is not here you may uh, uh, install it through the url uh, for example, uh, the bed level uh, visualizer, if you have a uh, VL touch, is very useful um, plugins that you can install it and see how flat is, it is your uh, bed. Uh, by clicking on the install, it's trying to get uh, files from the GitHub, is a uh, zip file, and uh, it's unzipping the file and then uh, putting them in the right uh, path and the folder after installing uh, any of these uh, plugins we need to restart the octoprint in this way when the octoprint is coming up is reading that folder and that functionality and then it's adding to the uh, octoprint Uh, most of the time when uh, we are installing uh, uh, plugins, we are changing some sort of VR when the octoprint is reloading and it's coming off that uh, service, um, it's recommending to uh, reload the whole page, to read the uh, whole um, page again. And that plugin right now we uh, installed it it's added under this uh, hamburger uh, menu and if we go there it says we need to uh, put some g-code as a uh, settings and here we have a, a link we can go there and copy paste some of the uh, settings they provided they are for different firmware and different uh, machines and I use this one as a, a bilinear um, bed leveling and it's worked uh, fine. Um, one thing uh, you can change it here based on your preferences is the temperature uh, for the uh, heat bed. There are uh, these two. Uh, when we are setting the temperature, is uh, automatically is waiting to uh, waiting for the temperature to get to that point and then it's uh, starting to crop the heat wave. Uh, one thing I need to mention and uh, the mesh is uh, reading and the point is reading is uh, coming from the firmware settings. Here we set it up as a 4x4 between 16 uh, points and uh, you can reduce it or uh, increase it based on your preferences. Uh, if you add it uh, more, it take, takes a little bit time to approve all of them, uh, but uh, you are getting more resolution. And then saving, and we are saving the mesh, and then save the whole things. Uh, when we are connecting to the uh, 
green there it, uh, this button will become available and then we can uh, um, prop the um, bed in this point it takes a little bit time to prop the whole uh, printer and give it us back a diagram Uh, now uh, um, the probing is done and is um, uh, drawing a diagram based on the uh, data it gathered and it uh, shows uh, which part of the uh, bed is higher or lower. For example, uh, this part is a little bit higher than uh, this one and is a little bit lower. Uh, but if you have a real touch, it is following this plan throughout the bed and is trying to print uh, flawlessly. Uh, there are some other uh, plugins that we can install and help us uh, in, in, in our uh, print and in functionality of the printer. Um, also, maybe it can uh, give us some uh, a more uh, visualization or better understanding of the application. Uh, let's see uh, what other uh, plugins that we can use and, and they are a big help for us. And the next one it is uh, Octoprint Dashboard. Uh, this is another one uh, that is the one of the um, best one uh, in my opinion. I'm going to install uh, several of them and restart at the same time. Uh, and a slicer thumbnail uh, is giving us uh, um, a small preview from the object we are printing but we need to prepare that uh, of that preview for the uh, um, plugins i'm going to show you how we can um, and create that one and the next one that we can use uh, it's a g a pretty g code uh, that uh, it it has to uh, functionality it, it, uh, it is showing us uh, what is the stage of the printer and what is printing right now and uh, also we can uh, ignore some part of the print if it, it is phased and another one is preheat buttons it's helping us to heat up the uh, heat bed and extrude at the same time another one it is a uh, nav uh, temperature a nav bar temperature is adding a tem a temperatures to the uh, navigation bar And most likely we are going to have uh, multiple files uh, in the octoprint and the SD card. And this is a great uh, plugin that uh, we can manage the file with it. And, and there is a new uh, plugin for the thumbnail, it's a Cura thumbnail. Uh, this is uh, another one, uh, it's helping us uh, for the thumbnails. And there is another um, uh, plugins that it can help us the 
uh, change the Z offset uh, in uh, through the octopreet. It is called Z probe offset control. And the last one it is something I like, um, which we can uh, search it here is uh, much uh, easier. It's called uh, jog wheel control. Now uh, we installed everything. We can restart the octoprint service, and I'm going to show you what are the changes and what we added into the uh, octoprint and how we can use them uh, again we need to reload the uh, page uh, as you can see in the control uh, tab uh, it's changed the ui to this format it's called drug control uh, drug will control and you can uh, uh, move the uh, x and uh, x y or z axis here uh, also if you remember we added a uh, z prop offset which you can uh, change the uh, z offset here if we connect to the uh, printer we are now we can see uh, this is the Z offset that uh, I have and I'm using in my machine. Uh, another one we added it was dashboard, which is uh, showing us what is the temperature, what is the uh, speed of the uh, fan, um, uh, and some uh, small things here. Uh, we ha added this uh, preheat buttons. If you print something, cancel it or uh, it's finished the uh, print, you can uh, reheat the same things uh, very faster here. Uh, another one we added it is uh, this one, temperature uh, on the uh, navigation bar. Uh, when you are moving to the application, you have the temperature here. Uh, another one we added it is a file manager which you can find the file in the octoprint and the stick card also you can select them print here or move them delete them and this is a file manager it is uh, doing the file managing and uh, the last one it is a pretty g code and it uh, show uh, when it's printing, uh, what is the stage of the uh, head and what is printing, well, uh, and uh, which layer it is. Let me show you how we can uh, create a, a thumbnail for the object we are printing. For example, uh, we have a benchy and we want to print it. Uh, if in, uh, from the uh, marketplace you add a uh, plugin called MKS of Wi-Fi plugin MKS Wi-Fi plugins uh, it's adding some uh, new things inside the uh, printer setting of your printer and we have this one MKS Wi-Fi plugin uh, you don't need necessarily to have the uh, Wi-Fi module to have or use uh, this plugin we can use this one to generate uh, the uh, thumbnails uh, we need uh, most of the time uh, is it this one is not active we are activating that one and under the printer settings and under the uh, preview settings we need to enable the 
uh, screenshot and support it. Uh, also here they added, recently they added the L group in M2 which we can uh, select it. And that's it when we are closing in slicing and then printing with the octoprint. When we are going back here, it's showing us the thumbnail we generated right now. Also, here in the list, we have uh, this image button that we can see them. And this is very useful for the uh, multiple files we have, and um, uh, we are getting confused. This is the one of the best ones. Uh, if we can sell the printer here, uh, as you can see, uh, this button is going to turn to preheat button. And now we have the preheat button. Uh, when we're clicking, it's trying to heat up the uh, bed and the uh, bed and the extruder as you can see here we can uh, when it's starting to print it show uh, uh, what is printing as we wrap up this 3d printing and laser engraving adventure I hope you have gained some valuable insight and inspiration. Remember, the sky is the limit when it comes to your creativity. And once again, this video is not a sponsor. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe, like and drop your thoughts in the comment section. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, keep creating and inventing. And I will see you in the next video.